So today I was going to record a video of me drawing on my tablet so that you can see how I work digitally and... So before I leave I want to thank you a lot to all of you who are following me on my social media and supporting me on Etsy and asking for commissions and stuff. It's very nice to see that people are so interested in my work. So thanks again. So first of all I have to say that I've lost some part of the inking process. I had some problems during the editing but it's not just a big deal. I will do more videos. So right now you're seeing the, the only tiny part that is left of the inking process. And as you can see, I use a layer below the, the ink, the black ink one, in which I sketch in gray. You can do this, or you can also get a layer and just lower your opacity. These are both ways in which you can do a, a sketch layer. Also, I used to, I'm used to drawing in, in, in black when I'm doing the ink on my computer. And you can change it afterwards, it's a good thing about working on, uh, on a computer. But when I do my watercolors, I prefer to ink in lighter colors like red or browns or even blues. I think they just work better. So after that, I will start the coloring as you can see. And I, you, you can see it right now, but I do work with a colored wheel and I do recommend it. Especially if you're starting out because it's, it, it helps a lot with the coloring and you can learn easier, I think. You have programs that already have that, like um, I think Paint to Sai and Krita or Krita, I don't know how you pronounce it. Photoshop does not have one, but you can download it, so it's not such a big deal. But I think the the Krita the Krita version um I will do a video about it because it's a free program and I couldn't test it that much but I think it's really good and and I will do a video about it so that you can test it out. I should probably do one day a video also about about coloring and some tips and tricks that you can use to improve that. And in this case, I think the color wheel is very important if you look up tutorials uh, on how to use it and stuff like that, you will you will see how the coloring gets better. Before I started using it, I was, I was always very lost and my colors didn't really look good or match and, and, and the coloring process was, was horrible for me. But then I, I watched some tutorials and I started to use the color wheel and it really, really got better. So that's a thing that we should talk about, but next for the future, <laughs> future videos. So I hope you like this video and I know I can, <laughs> I should do them a bit better. I'm still learning how, how to record all this stuff. I don't have uh, enough equipment and, and I, I, I just keep going on with what I have. So thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>